In this video, we will focus on how to evaluate functions multiple ways with the graphing calculator. So, here we have f of negative 3 is equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 10. And if students were performing this by hand, they would have to substitute in negative 3 for each of the variables. So we're going to discuss four different ways you can do this on your calculator. So the first way is the most basic way that students will use the calculator. They would just substitute in the value of negative 3 everywhere we have an x. And they would go through and just type in each of these values. And you can use the multiplication symbol as well. And once you have entered in everything, you can just press enter in order to evaluate. So that's one way. The second way is actually using your store button. So the store button, you have to tell it where you want to store a value in. And what you will see is that it's very easy with this technique in order to make a mistake. So here I substituted a negative 3, but a positive 3 here. So this next way makes it a little easier for us to get the right answer. So we have negative 3 and we want to store that value into the variable x. And now what this means for us is that every time I type in x on this main screen, it's going to actually evaluate for negative 3. So I can just type in my 2x squared minus 8x plus 10. And we actually arrive at the correct answer and now there's less room for error there. So that's the second way we can actually evaluate a function. The third way and the fourth way actually come from typing in our function into the y equals. So y equals is where you're going to go whenever you want to graph any type of function. So, or equation for that matter, we press y equals and we're going to type in our equation. So we have 2x squared and the store button doesn't affect the x in any of your other screens. So it's not stored as negative 3 here. It's only negative 3 on that main screen. So the first thing we can do is we can use the table feature. So the table feature is right above graph and anything that's right above a button in blue we just need to press the second button to actually access that. So if we press second and graph we're now able to access our table and you can navigate your table just by pressing your up and down buttons. So at the value of negative 3 we see that our y sub 1 value is 52 and y sub 1 is listed there because that's the first equation we entered. And the fourth and last way to evaluate you can use the calculate option which is right above trace. Once again since it's right above our button we need to press second and trace in order to access it. And we want the first option which is graph. I'm sorry it's value. So it's asking what x value do you want to evaluate for and we want negative 3 and remember there's a difference between your minus and your negative. And you press enter it automatically evaluates for 52.